Avalon, Canada, DHC-2 Beaver. On May 15, 1962, the 1500th Beaver to come off the de Havilland Canada production line was delivered to the Manitoba Government Air Service in Winnipeg. In 1985, this Beaver was donated to the Western Canada Aviation Museum in Winnipeg and has a distinctive place among the museum's exhibits today. Its innovative all-Canadian design represents an important Canadian achievement in aviation history. The Beaver's history begins in the 1940s when de Havilland Canada canvassed 85 of Canada's bush plane operators and invited them to submit their recommendations for the type of aircraft which would be most suitable for their work. Their ideas were incorporated and in 1947, de Havilland Canada began the manufacture of the Beaver. An all-metal land plane, ski plane, sea plane and amphibian, the prototype Beaver made its initial flight in August 1947. De Havilland Canada named this versatile Canadian aircraft after Canada's hard-working national symbol, the Beaver. Its rugged dependability and exceptional performance made it a favor with bush pilots and engineers. Its short takeoff and landing capabilities contributed to its vital role in developing transportation into Canada's Northland. Dedicated pilots traveled to remote northern destinations with only lakes and rivers for landing. Aircraft such as the Beaver provided an essential link to the outside world. The Beaver carried people, supplies, rescue teams, and firefighters to isolated communities. It carried a payload of six passengers in addition to the pilot, or could haul a half ton of bulky cargo, such as 45-gallon fuel drums. In 1951, the U.S. Army was looking for a short takeoff and landing aircraft and was aware of the capabilities of the de Havilland Beaver. The Beaver was in demand in the U.S., but authorities intended to purchase only made-in-U.S. aircraft. Nevertheless, a flying competition was held, and the Beaver outperformed all its competitors, winning the first contract ever placed outside the U.S. border by its defense authorities in peacetime. Designated the L-20, the U.S. government rapidly placed orders for over 900 Canadian-made Beavers. By 1952, 50% of them were participating in the Korean War. The L-20 was promptly dubbed the Flying Jeep. By 1967, Canada's Beaver had received worldwide acclaim and was exported to over 62 countries. More than 1,600 have been built, of which 300 are still registered in Canada. The fact that 1,000 Beavers continue to supply remote areas around the world with vital passenger and cargo transportation is testimony to the soundness of its design. The Beaver's impact on Canada's economic and social development has earned it a place among Canada's top 10 engineering achievements in the last century. In 1987, the Association of Industrial Designers named the Beaver as one of the best designs in all categories to come out of Canada. The success of the Beaver is now part of history. Although the de Havilland team did their homework well, researched the market and pioneered new designs, they could not in their wildest dreams have envisioned the success of the de Havilland Canada Beaver.